In terms of the, spec the technical specifications of the unit, we've got the, the DC input range, 22 to 55 volts. Now, um, as we saw when we were looking at the specifications for our particular module, and most modules of that rating are very similar, you're going to have an open circuit voltage of um, high 30s and a typical operating voltage of around 30 volts. So it, it, it comfortably falls within that DC input range. The AC range is uh, at 230, 230 volts, is your nominal AC voltage. Uh, but we've got the ability, the unit has the ability to work in voltage lines between 200 and 270 volts. So where you get those fluctuations in grids over different parts of town, uh, the micro Replus is comfortable <coughs> in terms of uh, that grid connection and synchronising. The nominal AC output power is 220 watts. So again, it's comfortable to be fitted with a 250 watt module. Um, although it's not rated to 250 watts, what we typically see in the systems is that, um, and from what we spoke about earlier, with that maximum output of the module, you would rarely ever see that due to the variations in the irradiance and due to temperature losses in the system. So ideally, uh, <clears throat> and we'll go into those specs, ideally the, the DC rating ideal input from a module is between 250 to 270 watts. The maximum power point tracker, so that's the tracker that allows, um, that follows that IV curve that we looked at to maintain that maximum power generation. It's 99.5% effective and that's fairly standard within uh, micro inverter and inverter systems. The CEC efficiency, <coughs> that is the efficiency of the system in terms of the AC to DC conversion. So typically speaking, you're going to lose about 5% in output uh, over that conversion. And that's fairly standard again across the industry um, for any type of inverter. And that 95%, as Yen said, that's the CEC efficiency. So that's your average based on higher temperatures, lower temperatures. Uh, but what we do see is that um, it's a fairly narrow range which is uh, a benefit, as again, Yen pointed out. Uh, you want to know that that efficiency is fairly steady regardless of the temperature. The high power factor, uh, greater than 99%, so it really doesn't need to be considered. We don't have any uh, space limitations in terms of where you mount the inverter next to a meter box or switchboard, because obviously the micro inverter is fixed to your rail underneath the module. And potential induced degradation, that's losses typically associated with high temperatures, high humidities and high voltages. So even though our modules are PID free, the fact that these systems work on much lower voltage means that um, there's going to be really little um, issue with PID, even if you were to use them with other modules. Not that we encourage that. And there's your ambient temperature rating. So up to 65 degrees Celsius, they'll work comfortably, uh, which um, is not going to be an issue for the, for the micro inverters. 25 years limited warranty.